Hi, welcome back. This is Rakesh Naik. Today we are going to discuss about disjoint set data structure. But before we start, a small information I like to share. In this channel, we produce every video in two different languages. If you want to watch this video in Hindi, kindly follow the link given in the description. And if you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get regular updates from this channel. So, let us start. Disjoint set is yet another method for solving problem. Basically, disjoint set data structure is a data structure that contains the partition set. And these partition sets are separate and non-overlapping sets. Sometimes this is called as union find data structure or merge find set. When we talk about a set, obviously we need to identify the elements and when we represent it with the help of a computer, we need a special element that is called a representative. To identify each set by some member of the set is known as its representative. You can see in your class there is a class representative. Then I can identify each of the members in the class. The basic application of this disjoint set data structure we are having to find a connected component of an undirected graph and to find whether cycle exists in a graph or not. Now let us see how to represent disjoint set data structure. Basically, we represent disjoint set data structure by using linked list as well as by array. Now let us see how to use linked list to represent disjoint set data structure. Now let us say we are having two sets S1 which contains three elements 1, 2 and 3, S2 another set which contains two elements 4 and 5. Let us say it is represented in this way. As compared to general link list, here you can see the link is pointing up. Here also the link is pointing up. It means always the elements will be pointing to the representative. Now if I want to represent with the help of a link list, I will be having an array with two field names. First field will contain the set name and the second field will contain the pointer. And the pointer keep the address of the representative. Now you see 2 is the representative in this particular set. So the address of 2 will be kept here. Similarly, if 4 is the representative, then I will keep the address of 4 here. If I want to find to which set element 3 belongs, then I will find its representative and through representative I will find the address then I can say it belongs to set S1. Let us see how to use an array to represent a disjoint set data structure. The same set we are taking, two sets are there, S1 and S2. So what I will do here, I will write all the elements here and secondly I will write a pointer. So here what I will do, whoever are the representative I will mark them with minus 1. In this set, 2 is the representative, so I will mark here minus 1. In this set, 4 is the representative, so that is why I will mark here minus 1. And the rest of the data, I will fill in this way. For element 1, 2 is the representative. For 3, element 2 is the representative. So I will write 2 and 2 here. Similarly, you can see 4 is the representative of 5. So under 5, I will write here 4. So this is how array can be used to represent a disjoint set data structure. There are two tasks that we perform under this type of data structure. One is union and other is find set. And to support this we are having make set, union and find set. So make set is a function which create a new set. Union of x and y means it will take a function which will unite two sets. If x belongs to a set and y belongs to another set, then I will find the union of these two. And the find set is the operation which will return the representative of the set to which x belongs. Let us see them with the help of an example. Let us say I am having 5 elements. So make set of x will create 5 sets. So I have represented it with the help of this suffix. And the next thing is we are going to find the union of x, y. As we have already known that this function 
will return me union of two sets. Let me take union of one and two. So here is one, here is two. So I can write this way, two as representative of one or one as representative of two. Now when I make the union, this individual sets will not be there. Let me take the first one. Now I am taking union of 4 and 5. So 4 and 5 are now individual two disjoint sets. And if I want to find the union, I will be having 5 as the representative or 4 as the representative. But after the union, this 4 and 5 individual sets will no longer be there. So let me take the first one. The next one is union of 1 and 3. Now 1 is this particular set and 3 is a set having single element. And when I am doing union, I will be adding 3 to the representative of 1, 2. In this case, I am doing 1 and 3. 1 is not the representative. So, for 1, I have to find the representative. And to the representative, I have to do union of 3. If 3 is a bigger set, then I have to find 3's representative and make an arrow to 1's representative. Let us make union of 1 and 4. Now you can see 1 belongs to this particular set whose representative is 2 and 4 belongs to this particular set whose representative is 5 and when I am doing union you can see that the 4's representative is attached to 1's representative. So this is how the union can be formed. This way of representing a disjoint set is not better than any linked representation of a tree. For better performance, we are having two more rules that is union by rank or weight rule and path compression or collapsing rule. Let us see them one by one. What is union by rank? If i is the rank number of root node of tree representing set S1 and j is the rank number of the root node of the tree representing S2, then I am performing union of i and j. That can be performed by these three formula. What is that? I will make j the parent of i if i is less than j. I will make i the parent of j if i is greater than j. And I will make either i or j the parent of the other one if i and j are equal. Let us take the same example and do here. Now there is one more concept called the rank number. Whenever a single element set is there, I will represent them with rank 0. So all of them are rank 0. One more concept that we learned is root. 1 is root of itself. For that I need to give a self loop. So every element is a disjoint set and the set themselves are representative of that particular element. So there is a self loop over each and every set. So when I did make set of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I have represented it this way. Now next is union of 1 and 2. So 1 is having rank 0 and 2 is having rank 0. Now according to the formula, if both of them having the same rank, then 2 can be the parent of 1 or 1 can be the parent of 2. Union of 1 and 2, I will be having either 2 as a representative of 1 or 1 as a representative of 2. Because both of them having same rank. Now the rank of the representative increased by 1. The next union is union of 4 and 5. Now 4 is having rank 0, 5 is having rank 0. Both of them are same. So I can represent either this way or this way. So whichever set I am choosing, I will take that one. But the representative rank will be increased by 1. Now the next union that we are making is union of 1 and 3. You can see the representative of 1 is 2 and 2's rank is 1. And here 3's rank is so obviously I am going to make this node as the parent node of node 3. So when I am doing union of 1 and 3, 2 becomes the parent and it is 3 is attached to 2. And there is no change in the rank. Now let us make union of 1 and 4. Now 1 belongs to this particular set where 2 is the representative and 4 belongs to this particular set whose representative is 5. 5's rank is 1, 2's rank is also 1. So, as both of them are same, I can make 5 as a representative of the union or 2 as a representative 
of the union. So here in this case, I am making 2 as the representative and 5's root will become 2. So after the union also, I will get the representative as 2 and the rank of 2 is increased by 1. Earlier it was 1, now it is 2. I hope you understood what is weight rule. Let us see path compression or collapsing rule. If J is a node on path from I to its root and parent of I is not equal to root of I, then set parent of J to root of I. What is the meaning of that? Let us see. Now already we have seen these three and we had this union of 1 and 4. Now you can see while going from node 4 to node 2, I am having an intermediate node that is node 5. And node 4 parent is not the representative. You can see the representative's rank is 2. While going from node 4 to node 2, 5 is the intermediate node. And here the parent of 4 is not the root node. So, we will apply path compression rule and directly add the root of 4 as, as the representative. And now, I will reduce the rank of the representative by 1. Now, you can see all the element at the same level, all of them having rank 0 and the representative having rank 1. I hope you understood this also. Now, let us see the algorithm. So, make set is the operation of a new set by creating a new element with a unique ID, a rank of 0 and the parent pointer to itself. The parent pointer to itself indicate that the element is the representative element of its own set. Now, if I want to write an uh, algorithm for it, function make set of x. If x is not already present, what I am going to do, I am going to add it to the disjoint set 3 and I am making the x parent to itself and assigning the rank of x to 0. The same thing what we did earlier is written in the form of an algorithm and its complexity will be deco of 1. Now find set follows a chain of parent of pointer from x upwards through the tree until the element is reached whose parent is itself. This element is the root of the tree and is representative member of the set and maybe x itself. And for this the algorithm goes like this. If x s parent is not x, I will take x s parent and I will take find set of x s parent. And after calling it recursively, ultimately I will come to this particular location and I will return x s parent. So this is how I will be using find set algorithm. Now in union we have seen so many formula, we need to incorporate all of them. Union of xy uses a find set to determine the root of x and y. It belongs to. If the roots are distinct, then the tree can be combined by attaching the root of one to the other. Union by rank always attach the shorter tree to the root of the taller tree. Thus, the resulting tree is no taller than the original unless they were of equal height. In which case the resulting tree is taller than one node. Let us see the algorithm here. Union of x comma y. I am taking a variable x root. I am finding the representative of x. Similarly y root is I am finding the representative of y. And if both of them are same, then I can say that union cannot be done. If they are different, if x s root rank is less than y's root rank, then I will assign y's root as x's root parent. Otherwise, if x's root rank is greater than y's root rank, then I will write x's root, the y's root parents. Otherwise, I can do anything. I can take this one or this one. Here I have taken y's root dot parent equal to x root. Next, I will increase the rank of x's root by one. So this is how the union operation are performed and the complexity will be big O of M if, if there are M operations on N elements we are performed. I hope you understood what is disjoint set data structure, how to represent it and what are the operations that we perform under disjoint set data structure. If you understood, give me a like and say among your friends.
in our next video we are going to discuss about its application see you then take care bye